Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Joe from the Northeastern Native Plant Digest. So yesterday I did a video on uh, removing some Virginia sweet spire. And uh, the reason I decided to take it out is because uh, for one reason, uh, two reasons really, it's, it's not native to Ohio. And uh, the second reason was even in its, in its native range, it, it only supports one uh, species of moth caterpillar. And uh, so to me, I just wanted to remove some. I took out about seven plants and uh, you know, I want to I want to replace them with something else that's going to have a higher wildlife value. So in thinking about that, you know, I've been looking at a lot of different candidates, and uh, what I've settled on is uh, is blueberries. So I'm going to be planting uh, three low bush blueberries today, uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. So uh, low bush uh, blueberries, Vaccinium angustifolium is uh, related to the high bush blueberry. Uh, you know, they, they produce the same edible fruits that we all know and love. Uh, you know, these fruits are, I apologize for the traffic today. Uh, these fruits are, you know, delicious. People love them, birds love them. They're rich in antioxidants. Uh, you know, so that's that's one very good reason to plant blueberry, blueberries. Um, another reason is that they are native to Ohio. They're native to Summit County where I live. Uh, so, but this particular uh, variety, the low bush, uh, it only tops out at about two feet tall and two feet wide. So you're talking about a lot smaller shrub compared to the high bush blueberries, which can get to be, you know, six to eight feet. Uh, so, uh, so, you know, this is going to, I'm hoping this is going to make a nice ground cover. Uh, another reason that I like it and I want to use it is that uh, it gets in a beautiful fall color, uh, nice burgundies and reds. So it's going to complement uh, you know, shrubs that I'm going to plant it next to, like witch hazel that turn yellow. Uh, another great reason to plant this plant is that uh, it's pollinated by native bees, so it's a good uh, nectar source for native bees. And uh, and one of the main reasons is that this blueberry plants actually support uh, about 223 different species of butterfly and moth caterpillar. And uh, a couple of those uh, those uh, Butterflies that it supports are the red spotted admiral, the snowberry clearwing, and the apple sphinx. Uh, you can find out more information at the National Wildlife Federation's Plant Finder website, and I'm going to uh, put a link in the description. Okay, so that being said, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and uh, we're going to go out and plant these, and I'm really excited today. Uh, I've been waiting for these in the mail, and uh, we're going to get these planted. I'll meet you out back. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to be planting these. Uh, in front of this witch hazel that I have here. It turns a nice yellow color in the fall and I thought these with their burgundy colors will fill in nicely here. Uh, one thing about uh, blueberries in general is that they do like uh, acidic soil. Uh, they like looser soil. Now that's one thing I'm a little concerned with here because this soil it does have a little bit more clay in it. Uh, I, I dug out some soil, some holes here. I mended it with some uh, compost with some uh, peat moss. So we're gonna see how they do here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get that in here, fill it in. And over time, you know, as more leaves decompose around these, it's gonna help break up the soil. Uh, let's get these other two planted here. So I think I'll put, this is the biggest one. I'm gonna put this one in the middle here. down it's gonna look nice now these these spots that I had here uh, I had Virginia sweet spire here so I took these out so I took the Virginia sweet spire out and I'm putting in the blueberries in hopes that they fill in this area and give me a nice pop of color in the fall not only do I hope they give me uh, nice fall color, but I'm hoping that they attract caterpillars, and some fruit wouldn't be bad either. Really, the fruit for me is secondary. I ate some of the ones from my high bush blueberries, but most of them the birds probably got, and that's okay. All right, so that's all I got for you today. This is uh, low bush blueberry, vaccinium angustifolium. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Leave your uh, requests or leave your comments and requests below if you have any plants you want me to highlight. 
uh, you know, give the video a thumbs up. Feel free to share them. And I uh, hope you have a great afternoon. Take care. Bye.